and uh, please give us your lectures. I'm sure. Thank you for the kind invitation. Good afternoon to everybody. I hope you enjoyed it very much the exercises uh, today and uh, with much success. Uh, so, uh, the to uh, topic of this, uh, my first talk today, is plasmonic effects in combining ran random and ordered silver nanowires, uh, and we apply rigorous modeling. Uh, I'm Maria Marcinia from National Institute of Telecommunications in Warsaw and also from Kielce University of Technology in Poland. And, uh, and I have to thank my co-authors co of uh, recent papers, who are Denis Navarov, uh, Roland Salon, and Alexander Nosic, uh, first and uh, last guys are from Kharkiv, Ukraine, and uh, Roman is from Ren. Uh, so here's outline of my talk. Uh, after introduction, I will describe the model, then I will discuss the results, and finally I will conclude. So, uh, what do we mean by periodically structured scatterers? Uh, we uh, understand them as finite chains or arrays of identical dielectric or metal particles, wires, or all strips. And uh, uh, we show that in such structures, periodic structure, uh, specific resonant phenomena exist mainly. The period periodicity caused grating mode in short GM resonances, which are co also called lattice resonances, or surface lattice resonances, and geometrical resonances. The grating mode resonances can lead to either almost total reflection or almost total transmission in a very narrow frequency band. The condition is that the efficient H polarized plane wave. Uh, by a subwavelength metal wire or slip plating. This is essential if the wave, uh, uh, the wave is H polarized, polarized, which is a condition for any plasmonic effects, as uh, uh, pl ele uh, uh, electro electron plasma can be pushed uh, 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 forward and backward on the metal surface only when the electric field has a longitudinal component. So this is why plasmonic, plasmonic works for H polarized, polarized waves or in other words T M uh, transverse magnetic polarized waves. And this depends on the spectral distance to the much broader uh, and classic, uh, let's say classical local, localized surface plasmon resonances in short terms. So here is the, uh, the structure we consider. We consider a cloud, cloud of uh, randomly loca loca located uh, plasmonic wires. In this case, we use sil silver parameters, silver nanowires. And in this cloud, random cloud, we investigate some finite set of ordered structures. So. Uh, uh, you may ask why exactly this uh, this structure we have chosen for this investigation, uh, the wires, metallic wires, and the answer is but, uh, because we can model those wires and plasmic effects rigorously. So we have a, a modeling tool which I will describe in a few minutes. So we analyze the two-dimensional scattering of the H-polarized plane wave by finite linear periodic array of MP, P stands for per periodic, silver nanowires, which are emerged inside a cloud of M cloud similar nanowires. All wires are assumed circular, like here, with the same radio, radius A. The distance between the ordered uh, wires is P, and uh, we can, uh, the uh, sphere radius is L, and we can model with different angles of uh, incidence in comparison with this uh, periodic linear, linear periodic array. And we will show that uh, this periodic chain emerge, uh, emerge with a, a random a cloud of similar object has specific signature, we call it in transmission and reflection 
dependence of the wavelength to the incidence angle. So, which is visible even if a quite much larger number of cloud uh, nanoscatterers is present. So, and um, what uh, are in practical applications, possible applications of that, I believe you, you, this will be listed in one of the next slides, but uh, some, uh, some objects, uh, organic object and non-organic object, have a tendency to self-organize. And if this happens, there is also this study can show how to detect the signature of this self-organization in specific and reflection spectra and independence of the angle of incidence. Okay, so the parameters, specific parameters are we consider the number of periodic uh, nanowires 50 up to 200 wires and this is the radius of the wires and the period is 450 nanometers. This is the distance in, in periodic chain of uh, nanowires. And the cloud is, uh, in all cases, it's 200 periods in diameter. This is, this is the, the sphere we consider. And we consider uh, 200 wires in the cloud. And they are on the same uh, radius, but are place, placed in some random way. So the random part uh, of the cloud is assumed to be the same in each, each case, but we vary the, we vary the, uh, the periodic chains. And the cloud is considered to be sparse. So the minimum distance between the radium wires is 10.67a. A stands for diameter of, of the, of the, of the um, nanowire, or rather it, 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 the radius of the nanowire. So uh, these distances are uh, located randomly, but minimum separation is, is larger than in this other uh, series and is this one. And the distance between the array part wires is smaller, 7.5 uh, radiuses of the nanowire. So the theory, theory is as follows. The scattered field mass, uh, which is missing theory, must satisfy the Hell cost equation. Tangential field components continuity on wire controls. The radiation condition at infinity means that the field has to decay to, to zero infinity, and the condition of the local power thickness. These are, these are boundary conditions we use to this approach, and then we use rigorous, rigorous procedure based on the field expansion in local coordinates, and in addition to that, the theorems for cylindrical functions, and this solution has a guarantees convert. Which is important. Uh, you may find the details of this algorithm in a, a formal paper in Plasmonics in 2014. Uh, today I will concentrate on the results. And here are the results start. So the first uh, picture shows the uh, total cross section, which is normalized per single wire short total uh, scattering cross section per single, uh, single uh, by M. M is number of uh, periodic and cloud nanowires is expressed in nanometers as a function of the angle of incidence and the wavelength. Still 200 of nanowires in the cloud and inside the arrays of zero in the first case, just cloud. Then you have a chain of 50 nanowires, ordered 100 nanowires, ordered and 200 nanowires, ordered, emerged in 200 uh, random position of wires. So you can see here that 
really some a clear phenomena appear in all cases and in the case of the chain of nanowires is uh, quite large equal to the number of nanowires in the cloud this is nice W shape which also exists even in smaller number of nanowires in the chains so if some of nanowires have the tendency to self-organize in line this can be easily detected by finding the scattering cross-section uh, as a function of uh, wavelength and the wavelength is here in for, for example vertical axis and amount of incidence is on vertical axis how um, we do understand the results so there are, uh, there are part of silver permittivity in optical range has neg is negative and this is the existence of the of the natural modes of surface pl plasma modes of different azimuthal orders or an infinite subwavelength wire and for single uh, nanowire in free space there was modus, modus cluster which are shifted to the red near lambda of this value assuming that uh, the electric constants of uh, silver is minus one if in this value in this wavelength because the, uh, the losses this, uh, this cross section transmission cross -se uh, displays a single broad peak just to the red of this value so you may notice this here on this uh, slides but also so the specific uh, wavelength is 388 nanometers which is which is somewhere here and this is a redshift to the longer wavelengths which is mostly clear here and uh, in this feature it's just a cloud, the best one. This is this specific wavelength. If the if surface plasma resonance along this specific wavelength of 350 nanometers for all, all angles of incidence, and uh, there are no other effects as there are no uh, self organized nanowires. And this means that the wires are not interacting. There is no resonance features between the wires. They are sufficiently far uh, if away each from other. Uh, uh, this, uh, in other words, it's ensemble is sparse, and the distance between non wires in the cloud is, is sufficient, sufficiently large to uh, suspend to the resonances. And now you have the, uh, the cloud, but also the chain of ordered nanowires inside, 50, 100, and 200. And this changes this, this picture. The uh, w, w shape appears, which we call signature, for the amount of incidence varying in any of two half planes of 0 to 180 and also from 180 to uh, 360 degrees. So this is al almost mirror symmetric with respect to 90 degree here and the same 270 degree. Uh, even if the contribution of random wires is slightly different in each quadrant of the plane. So we consider this as a very distinct signature of the presence of ordered nano wire wires in, in the random cloud. So uh, in this case, where there are two, 200 nano wires in the, in the uh, ordered emerged in the cloud, so if uh, the uh, surface plasma resonance 
parts of um, this, this, this here disappear relatively to to creating mode resonances. And here we are able, able to uh, to find the field distribution, <coughs> the near field for uh, central periods and as well as far field scattering patterns, which is here, uh, with uh, of 200 wires with period 450 nanometers in free space, in the case A and C, in the uh, A and C, and in the case of 200 ordered uh, nanowires in cloud configuration, which is here, in the case B, and, and, uh, and here is far field, and the grating mode resonance is wavelength of uh, 450.1 nanometers for the 90 degree incidence angles. So to conclude, we have presented accurate results for TMK H polarized wave diffraction by a chain of uh, silver nanowire ordered in line emerged in a cloud of non-ordered and much more uh, much much more uh, sparse nanowires exactly of the same of the same material, the same image. And even the presence of uh, as little as uh, 50 wires periodic chain inside the cloud is able to show produce well disintegrating model resonances which we call the signature of the presence of this and uh, this is uh, can be clearly seen in uh, the as a function of angle of incidence uh, except the basic angle. So I think this brings me to my end of my first talk. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for the first presentation. Gentlemen, do you have any questions? Should we open the discussion? Maybe maybe I have one. Professor, which software what software was used for simulation? Um, this is home might software. Okay. Yes, developed by Professor Nosic and his group. They started in uh, microwaves and okay. they moved to uh, photons. So this is uh, I have to say long uh, time uh, long time experience in electromagnetic problems. Any other question? If not, thank you and yeah. looking forward to your next presentation.